Chapter 6. Loops. In BPMN RPA you can create loops by using exclusive gateways. As mentioned in the previous chapter of this series, an exclusive gateway should always have two outgoing flow arrows, one with the label true and the other with the label false. The actual true or false decision isn't made in the exclusive gateway itself, but in the last shape before the exclusive gateway. Let's dive into the attributes that make loops in BPMN RPA possible. The loop list shape calls the return list of the hello world module that is stored in the temp folder of our system. The hello world module looks like this. It creates a list of the words this is a test and returns that list. A loop is always started by a shape that is calling a python script which will return a list. The shape is recognized as the start of the loop by adding an attribute to the shape with the name loop counter. The value of the loop counter attribute must be a zero based index number, and is the starting point for the loop. For example, a loop counter with a value of 2 will make the third item in the list the starting point of the loop. For each loop the loop list shape will return a next item in the list. In this example the message box shape will use the variable percent sign list percent sign as its message. The task right before the exclusive gateway must be based on the shape called, More Loop Items. You can find this shape in the predefined shapes library. This shape should have three attributes, function, loop variable, and shape description. The function attribute must hold the value loop underscore items underscore check. Please notice that there is no module or class attribute. The call of the loop items check function is an internal BPMN RPA library call and does not need a specific reference to a module or class. The loop variable attribute has to hold the variable name of the list that is looped. For this example we will enter percent sign list percent sign. The shape description attribute is optional. The loop items check function will return true or false. Its outcome will be used by the BPMN RPA workflow engine to decide which flow arrow will be followed. Let's run the example and see what happens. We'll open our temp folder, use the BPMN RPA starter and run our flow. This concludes our lesson on loops. In the next chapter we'll explain how to instantiate classes and optimize performance when calling Python functions. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching.